Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Got this thing going. What's up, what's up? Guess you guys can see me live and direct. Something's going on with my stream over here where I'm trying to look and make sure that everything's going well. But we got two people in the house so far, so thank you for joining. Um, I'm not sure what's happening on my end, what I can and cannot see, but so strange when that happens. Can't deny it. All right, here we go. I think I'm looking good. Ah. Uh. What's in the box? That's what we're about to find out. It's legit. What is in the box? So. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me tonight. This is Blading on the Brain. As usual, I come to you once a week, but today I'm doing something special. I'm trying to come live. I got a dope gift from the homie Lawrence at 5050, and legit, I wanted to open it up right in front of you guys. So hit me up in the comments. I see already we got South Central Blade Club in the house. Corey English, shout out to your channel. As always, I do check you out. I'm gonna check out some thems and see if I can figure out if they work for me too. They seem to be working really well for you. Keys that I've learned in watching unboxing, like from the homie Ricardo. Have yourself a box cutter, ready to go. <laughs> Gotta make sure that's there live and direct. If you're new to the channel and you're just figuring out what I'm all about, I post weekly. I am recovering from a traumatic brain injury that I suffered three years ago while skating. I was just doing a regular old soul grind and I fell backwards, hit the back of my head. You'd think that that would be the reason for the TBI, but really it wasn't. It was the rebound. And I learned a lot about brains and brain injuries through this recovery process. And it was the rebound that actually made the injury so real. It's when my brain bounced and hit the front of my skull that I suffered frontal lobe damage, um, four, I think four skull fractures and just a lifetime of change, you know, honestly. And so this channel is definitely dedicated to all my TBI survivors, all my people who have come back from injury and are recovering, and everyone who loves inline skating. Yes, I said it, inline skating. Shout outs to you, Ricardo, as always. Let's see what we got going on. What's up, Blading on the Brain fam? Thank you, thank you. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we got a couple people viewing right now. I'm gonna make sure that everything looks good. So tell me, how do I sound? Throw it up in the chat. Do I sound okay? Um, do I look okay? Am I like bright enough? This this is a new setup for me, like not the lab. This is the lab where everything goes down. But I have some new lights and I'm trying to like get a little more professional as I do this work. So do hit me up in the chat. How do I look? How do I sound? We just started up about 30 minutes of, I'm hoping, some fun as I unbox. Now, y'all seen, if you follow me on IG, at Bla oh my God, if you follow me on IG at Plating on the Frame, you saw this box. Yo, this box is mad heavy. I am not gonna lie, this is a box from Lawrence, 5050. Perfecto, thank you, really appreciate that. I'm glad it's time to look good, this is all very new. This is a box from Lawrence at 5050. I hit him up on, slack to blading and was like bro i need your help with something so then he hooked it up and sent me something i know one of the things in this <clears throat> massive and heavy box i know what it is but there's more and there's surprises and lawrence told me that it won't get me banned from youtube but it might so thank you lawrence for looking out or not looking out told me you're trying to take out all the competition so if you're not subscribed to back to blading please subscribe to back to blading so that he doesn't send me contraband in here that'll get me taken off of youtube so this is one, <laughs> one box. This is the main box, but I'm not gonna lie. I got another box in the mail the other day and they're both really exciting. Take a quick sip of some water here. Yeah, for real though, Jesse J, I'm with you. I wanna see what's inside this box too. Cause like I said, I got one idea. Like I know one thing, maybe two, but I don't know at all. Thank you to everybody, Brandon, Isaac, giving me shout outs on the sound and the look. <sighs> Here we go, this is the other box. This box, I definitely know what's inside. 
Like, I ordered this. This I paid for. Um, there should be no surprises in here. So, I don't know. Maybe throw a comment. Which one should I wake up? Should I... Or which one should I open up first? Should I open up the big box or the little box? What I will say, though, is that both of these boxes are part of a new journey for me. Um, I have been aggressive inline skating for, like, 20 years. But before that, I used to bomb hills, mash stairs, jump over garbage cans, and do what people did in the 90s. And... As I get older, and really like during the 30 day blade challenge, I realized that like I'm 42 and my body, it likes aggressive blading, but not two days later. Two days later, my knees are hurting and I'm just all soggy and hurt up and, and beat up. And so I need an alternative that allows me to roll with less impact. So there's, all right, I gotta vote for big box. I gotta vote for small box, big box, big box. Well, I don't know. It's like a tie. Next next vote counts. Next person to vote in will tell me which box I'm going to open up first. So type, type, type. What's the next box? Big box or small box? But they're both about Big John. There it is. Corey English making the vote count. Thank you for repping on the chat. They're both part of a new journey for me in skating that allows me to skate more often, like every day if I can, and not feel so beat up and broken. So we're gonna put this one to the side because I heard Big Jam is the way to go. So, I don't know about you, I'm actually really, really excited, like for real. Like I hit up Lawrence on Slack to Blading, oh uh, man, like two weeks ago and we just started talking. Shout out to him because he's from the Bay Area. So, you know, even though he in North Carolina, he from the Bay, so. Oh. And they sent this, I'm not lying, this thing is heavy. What's up, let's see. You're 42, <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, I am 42. It is um, it is a surprise for me too, to be quite honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hold that excitement, I don't know. Why, it's like Christmas, this is, there's no way to hold this excitement. All right, let's see how this goes. Let me make sure I don't open this the wrong way on myself. You know how that will happen. All right, I think it should go this way. So this is from 5050, this is from the homie Lawrence. Like I said, I know one thing for sure that's in here. Probably two, um, but not everything. So let's get this bad boy open. Once again, thank you all for joining me. Uh, Blading on the Brain, update weekly. But this is a special live event, and so you never know who's going to join. For all of you guys who voted on Instagram and follow me on Instagram, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, we, got, we got 40s in the house? Yes, sir. 40s the new 30, which is the new 20. So I guess we're basically 20 again. Except two days after skating when we feel 100. <laughs> Old, older man blading. Hey, hashtag blader dads. If you're a blader dad, do join the blader dad Facebook group. All right. Big reveal. <laughs> Thank you again, Lawrence, for this. Okay. Oh, boy. Y'all ready? Hold up. Let me see who's with me. Right now we got 20, 22 people with me. Who with me? All right, everybody with me? Uh, yeah, for real. No, no lie. No lie. I feel 30 sometimes, and then I feel 100 sometimes. Okay, here we go. So this was like a secret. Because, like, man, I'm just going to rip it off and first show you the first tell. How your boy flipped that box inside out so that I wouldn't know. So first off... I have been wanting to dip into the urban, big wheel, chill cruise market for a minute. And I don't have the proper skates for it. I don't. I'm not going to lie. So, and I, I have weird feet. I have wide feet. They've been in skates for like 20 plus, oh dang, I think 30, almost 30 years. So they hate most skates. Most skates are uncomfortable. So I, I didn't want to try a pair, not in the shop because of COVID, and then find out they don't fit. And so I've had pairs that don't fit in Lawrence. The homie came through with these Power Slide Imperial Cruisers, big old compass wheels, yes! 110 compass wheels, smooth. Look at that roll. Can you see my excitement? Look at that roll. Look how smooth that is. <sighs> Aluminum frames. Um, I gotta try these on. I gotta see if these fit. This is like, like I said, I'm starting a new way for myself. It's gonna be about some urban blading, um, really getting out there in the streets and just doing what I used to do, which is just flow and some of those cool slidey tricks too. Those are pretty sick. But yes, straight up 
Yeah, I agree. Damn is right, man. I don't curse on this channel, but man, some straight power slide Imperial Cruisers. I'm gonna try these on in a second just to make sure that they fit my foot. Got that brand new liner in there? Lawrence, what are you doing? Thank you, brethren. Thank you. And just so you know, it's a full pair. You know, sometimes you get that one skate. No, this is a full pair. My fit liners inside. 110 compass wheels, brand new bearings, it looks like. I am blessed. Thank you, Lawrence. But there's more. Of course, there's more. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be enough. Gotta throw in some stickers. Compass, 50-50 with a note. Hey, Kenan, thanks for all you do for the community. It means a lot to have good people on your side. Here's a bunch of stuff to try. No expectations, just have fun and let me know what you think. Right on to the inline skate community, the YouTube community, the slack to blading community. Um, I love I love skating and I love talking about skating. I love spreading the joy of skating and that's a lot of what this channel is. And so thank you, Lawrence, for the for the, the really nice words. And it is great to have allies, people on our side that help us do what we love. And uh, thank you, family. I feel like you're in that in that boat for me, too. But then there's more. <laughs> and I think this is where I'm like, what's happening here? Wait. Uh-oh. I got Hood Panda on one side and Brando on the other. Hold up. Let me check in with the comments before I open that up. Because I, I, I'm I wondering if y'all know what this is in there. Checking in with the comments. Epic. 100% nicest dude. You're right, Corey. Like, 100% nicest dude. Um... Yes, people are ready to open it. I'm ready for the next one, too. But this one, I'm really, really stoked on. Uh, yes, Brandon, this is awesome. Uh, like, I can't even imagine that, like, your boy would send me a full set of brand new wheels. Like, brand new wheels. I'm going to be blasting, like, 100 miles an hour on those. I cannot wait to try those on my feet. But, yes, there's more. There's more. Let me see who else is up in these comments. What's up, Sean? Be careful with the big wheels. Oh, Really? I didn't realize that's what went down with the JSF homie, my family, uh, Jason Marshall. I didn't realize that he hurt his head while doing those big wheel slides. Well, I mean, if you know me, you know the helmet. It's right there. I got like too many of them actually, but you can never have too many helmets. So I am always gonna be strapped up, Sean. So thank you for hipping me to that. And for those who don't know, I mean, you know, we, we always end up knowing somebody who's had a, a head injury while, while skating. So. I preach safety, I preach hashtag upgrade your gray matter because one day it may matter. Skate safe so you can skate forever because my time was almost cut short. And so, you know, for Jason, I know this has been a long battle. Like, I've talked to him on Facebook and, you know, I understand what he's going through and I'm there to support him just like I'm there to support anyone who's recovering from really any type of injury and is going through the emotional ups and downs. Like, for real talk, like, we think that, like, it's just the physical that we got to come back from. But, like, I remember strapping up my skates for the first time after my injury and just thinking, can I even, like, roll? Like, is it even possible for me to, like, stand up and balance again? So, all praises to those who are in recovery, who stay resilient in recovery, never give up on yourselves, stay positive when it's down because it's like a wave. And they literally say what goes down must come up, and it is 100% true. To all my people that deal with depression or any mental health challenges, just know that there's people out there that love you, support you, and want to see you do well. So let's just keep the positivity flowing with the next pieces of gift from Lawrence. So I got this little teaser. Bam. Compass. Okay. My favorite color is purple. And so this is a this is a must-have grab right here. Thank you, Lawrence. But this is all kind of feeling like I got purple 50-50. Ooh, purple 50-50 sticker. I know there's a place somewhere for that, so we're gonna make sure that makes it up there. But then there's this. I don't know about you, but when I see something like this, I know the size. I can feel the weight. Oh man, this is sick. This is sick. This is so crazy cool. All right, all right, y'all, get ready. I don't know what I do with my dang blade. Ricardo, you make this look so easy. Okay, boom, snap, snap. Oh, 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 come on, stop it. I see wheels, I know compass wheels, okay. <gasps> You're the man, Lawrence. These are brand new. Dang. I 
have been skating Symmetrix aluminum frames for like almost a full year. And I have really wanted to get back on some plastic frames and just feel the difference and see like if I notice a difference in weight or if I notice a difference in the stability. But right now, your boy got a brand new pair. Take one of Stefan Brando 5050 frames. Oh my God, I can, that, yo, like first impressions, I haven't had any new 5050 frames in my hands in a minute, but like first impressions are like, yo, these are solid, like these are heavy. You hear that? Definitely well machined, no gaps and grooves, but like heavy weight, like this, you could bludgeon a fool with these. Like this is like a an illegal weapon of sorts. Maybe this was the contraband you sent me, but I could just hack jaw some fools. Dang. Quality. First off, let's talk quality. Like I said, I've never, I've never held a pair of these new 50-50 frames. I've seen them on people's skates, but I never held them. Um, quality. Let's just talk quality. I know Lawrence is a is a is an engineer. He's a smart man. The quality of these axles, I can see already. They, they're like, they look sturdy. They look like, like what you'd see when you have like construction machined equipment that is it doesn't look like it's gonna strip. Like these these axles don't look like they're gonna strip. Like like legit. They don't I mean I have the crappiest tool in the world too. The rollerblade tool. I'm not gonna use these on these, but they don't look like they're gonna strip. Everything is so well crafted, like you know, like you think you get this like this dope Stefan Brando relief, like three level, like I don't know what you call that, but it's like rubber. And you're like, ah, that'll just fall off. I'll just, no, no, literally no. Like I'm using force here, people trying to like pry this off. Not that I don't love you, Stefan. I will spell your name wrong a, a billion times and that's my fault. But like, that ain't coming off. Then they came with some 50, 50, 58, 85. Oh, dang. So this is a beautiful flat setup. If you don't know, I skate 60 flat normally. Um, I got the Let's Get Social Wheels. Those are 60 flat. I've been riding on Symmetric 60 flat. Uh, before that, I was riding on the Shred Pulls. Shout out to Conjure, because I just do that. Um, so this is like a perfect setup for me. Let me check back in with these comments real quick. Yes, it is very scary to think about the potential injuries that we have, but it's real. We got we to talk about it. Yes, they are they're balance frames. Like I wish they were all oh, if they were all purple, that would be some like real custom. That would be sick. These are clean. This is super nice. <laughs> yeah, before I strap them onto my actual skates, I can totally just fight off zombies real quick. Something that y'all may not notice, but I think it's true for the compass frames too, is that you can mount these straight up without taking the wheels off. Like you can get an Allen wrench in both of these frame receptors or, you know what I'm saying, that hook up to your to your boot without taking the wheels off. That's a game changer, yo. Like, real talk, that's a game changer for anyone who, like, changes frames or likes to try different things. It's annoying. Like, I got this, like, 72 setup. Those will stay on those boots forever because I'm just I'm too lazy. Literally just too lazy. Am I too late? Nah, Jamie, you're not too late. Shout out to the homie Jamie Ridge. This is what I got in the box for those who just joined in and caught up. I just am opening a box from Lawrence Ingram from 5050. Shout out to North Carolina and Alameda. And the first thing in the box for these tri-wheel 110 beautiful compass wheels with the like freshest bearings, aluminum frame, power blade skates, or power slide imperial skates. I am trying to get my big wheel on in these. I'll try them on in a second. I got a dope t-shirt that matches these Stefan Brando frames. So, yeah, I'm feeling real blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But that's not it. There's something else in here, too. A couple things. Ooh. <gasps> Machined adapt size heel, heel and, like, oh, these are the boot, like, frame bolts. Yo, anyone who loses these on the regular, like me... This is, this is clutch. And these are like well machined. And I saw on the site that they're specific for adapts. Like that big heel one. Here, I'll see I open this up for you. It is cold in my garage today. I'm not even in the East Coast. Just can't even hold nothing. Boom. Well machined. I mean, you can almost smell the, the motor oil on them. That's just weird. Sorry, y'all. That's just totally strange. <laughs> What's up, 
I'm about to skate 56. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 56 is the way to go, man. Do go, do go flat. Yes, Jamie, it is fire. And there's one more. There is one more thing up in here. One more thing. Now, this I saw on the website. And I didn't believe that they really made these. Like, this is ridiculously cool. If you're a, um, a 90s skater like me, you remember the time of Solomon's. You remember the time of Senate. And you remember when there was a moment when Solomon's and Senate came together with this beautiful synergy if you had the Senate aluminum grind plates. And your boy in a vintage 5050 tube sent me a pair of 5050 aluminum grind plates. Y'all know I got a mini ramp in the backyard. I'm skating aluminum frames, but a lot of it's plastic. But man, could you imagine the dope sound? Like these gotta fit on here, right? Can you imagine the dope sound of this setup on my mini ramp? Oh. Yeah, that. Aluminum grind plates. Like aluminum made a comeback in a way that I never thought would be possible. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about aluminum grind plates? Like, is this just for show? Or would you really grind these? Like, would you take these and go gangster on some curbs? Or would you just hit the parks and fast slide or front side? for like hours and days, but like, hit me up in the comments. Yes, these are a classic. And it's like the classic 50-50 design. It's a grind plate, y'all. We in 2020, I got a grind plate in my hand. I'm like, I'm dead, I'm dead. So shout outs to Lawrence. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Um, for those just checking in, this is a live unboxing of a box I got from Lawrence. It's heavy, cause there's a whole pair of skates in here. Fresh liners too. There's a fresh pair of frames, brand new frames for my adapt skates. I'm gonna throw these on there and test out plastic frames again. I have not been on plastic frames for a minute. Been on my aluminum symmetrics and I'm really excited to try these out. Yeah, I'm with you. Hit the parks on those aluminums. <laughs> Somebody come up north and teach me how to invert because I see the comment. Sean, you're just straight clowning right now. I see the comment that I'll be out there like, doing some like inverts but like nah yo i can't invert south central blade club shout outs to you for like bringing the joy of skating to so many people all the time like I, that is what your entire instagram feed is it's just like the joy it's the joy of watching people get on skates for the first time but yes i'm with i'm with will like, like i probably with these will just like put these on for a real good mini ramp session and just like it's almost like refinishing. You know when like you go to the, the rail and people been caking the wax on it for two ever, you go and you find like a, a can and you just scrape the heck out of it so you could get some fresh wax. These are gonna be like those like reset. But my coping needs to be reset. I'm gonna throw these on there. Dang. Wow, okay. Seriously talk, y'all. Let me put let me try these on real quick. Hit me up in the comments. What do you think? Are these gonna fit? I got wide feet. Does anybody know? about the Imperials. I had a pair from Rob G. Rob G left me a pair, but they were not even a 10. I think they were smaller than a 10. So there was like no way that they were gonna fit my foot. I have a particularly wide foot. Like I was joking with somebody the other day that like I, if I go in the shower and I like step down while the water's running, I'll get like full suction, like, and I won't be able to move. I'll tear an ACL in the shower and just be there just broken. And so I had the flattest feet, I think, in the world. Yeah, no. You know, JSF love the kids, South Central Blade Club. We love the kids. So we all there with you. I feel like even before I put these on in the in the um, let me just be real with y'all. Like this is this is my life right now. Like before I even put these on in the garage, let me let me buckle up just in case <laughs> I see what I see what y'all said. Let me buckle up just in case I decide to get flossy on these suddenly. But this is really just for fit. This is the first impressions on some uh, some Imperials that are in my size. These are legitimately my size. So if you haven't seen my video, I did a video of my first time on Triwheel 125s, like probably like two years ago. Check that video out. Oh, yo, these fit. Usually I would get pain like in the arch area, like right away if they're too tight. But like these MyFit liners, maybe that's the difference. I heard good things about these MyFits. <laughs> oh, inverting my... <laughs> you didn't mean actually go on Miguel and learn how to do inverts? Oh, I might just do that anyway, Sean. What you know, what you gonna do? 
My ramp is, this is for the homie Brendan. My mini ramp in the backyard is five feet tall. It is 16 feet wide, like, cop like coping length. And then I think it's like 23 feet from coping to coping, like transition. Something like that. It's quick. Like you don't have time to think. You like put your, you drop in and then you're in the air doing a grind. You're on the coping, but it's, it's like cardio. It's like pure cardio. So do build a mini ramp. And thank you, Jesse. I do hope they fit too. So far, so good. This is my bigger foot. Do y'all know which one's your bigger foot? My left foot's my bigger foot. Oh, wow. I'm gonna be really tall, so I don't know if I really stand on these, but. Oh. Okay. Do look on out for the edit on these. I am going to smash some miles on these. I have a little bit of pain where, where normal people have an arch and I don't. Um, I might try some different insoles to lift my arch up and give me a little more arch support so I don't get pain like plantar fasciitis. fasciitis that's the hardest word in the, in the world. That and operationalized. That really hard to say. But like plantar fasciitis. I don't want that. Now I need to learn. I need to learn inverts. Yeah, that'll be a... That's a B-roll video to come out on... Uh, <laughs> On blading on the brain. That's my straight, straight B-roll. But yeah, man. Shout out to all y'all steady watching. I think I got 15 with you with me right now. This is dope. Like, oh, I'm glad that's a good size for you. I, I talked to um this is for Brendan asking about the mini ramp dimensions in my backyard. I talked to Clark Kirkman a lot before I built the mini on like what were the appropriate dimensions for speed, for carve, and to be able to grind like most of the coping because you know you never get to grind all of it because then you fall off the end of your ramp which i've done a lot especially on the side of my ramp that has a deck where you shouldn't fall yeah that's that's why i wear this people like i know i have a head injury but like ultimately i'm just dangerous i should have worn this from jump i should wear this like people are like oh you're gonna wear a helmet when you walk out on the street and like i probably should yeah yeah i probably should but these are dope cannot wait to shred on these do look for some really cool footage of me like blasting through the streets of Oakland with uh, 110, I mean, smoothest bearings I've ever felt too. I thought I was gonna have to put some bearings in, but no, these are dope. Oh, you know that feeling you have when you've been on a, a cuff that's a strap and you actually don't know how to use a buckle anymore? That's what's happening right here. Okay, all right. Ooh. Lawrence. Your love of rollerblading has no end. Your general being a nice guy has no end. Black and red are my favorite colors. And I thank you. I thank you, brother, for these games. Thank you. All right, now I got another box that came. So those of you still sticking around, I got another box that came. And this time, this one's a little different. This one I actually bought. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Sean, for real though, entering the mini ramp from the, the deck, like it's a box, I don't even like, I haven't even like fully explored like all the tricks I can try on there yet. But it, it's a new experience because like just dropping in with speed already just allows you a level of like confidence, you know, where you're just like, oh, I'm already cruising, already did one grind, like let's go, let's get it. So this I ordered from, dang, I'm gonna butcher the name of the store. I should have prepped better. But it's like, they should have wrote it on here for me. Oh, they, did they? No. It's got some other name. Oh, well. So I've been looking for some big wheel frames to throw on my aggressive skates because I didn't know this was happening, really. And so aggressive skates, I was like, there's a lot. Yeah, you see me just dangerous. I was like, there's a lot of adapter pieces, right? There's a lot of stuff that you can... You can add to your aggressive skates to make them big wheel. What if I were to just do a hop-up kit? So I ordered these frames. Shout out to my homie, Matt, Matthew Yaremski. I know I just butchered your name. I am so sorry. My homie Matthew told me that there were some frames I should try that would work really good with carbon, with carbon boots. And you know, a lot of people will say that if you try to go aggressive boots, with big frames and big wheels, you lose stability in your ankle. And that I don't want. I'm too old to lose stability in anything. It'll just end up with me getting hurt. So I got it. I got a piece of advice that if I wanted to try big wheels, 
that I should attempt to use these different frames. So this is like a frame and wheel set of days. So here are a pair, full set eight FR Street Kings, 84 millimeter. So I got 110 down here, 84 right there, 72 over there. So I'm gonna have the whole understanding of what it's like to be on big wheels. But right now, so these are FR 84 millimeter wheels to go on. They put like a box in a box with a box. Yeah, there it is. To go on these, oh, this is cute. Signature series, Sebastian Laforge, Lafarouge. Do you know this name, Sebastian? I'm, I'm really bad at this right now. And it's, and it's in cursive, that's not helping my game. But I didn't know these were a signature frame, but this is the Seba, which I've just learned how to say properly. The Seba FR free ride aluminum. Ooh. People be talking about how like the wizard skates come in like really cute boxes. I like this box. Look at that little like some cheap tool. Love me a good, you know, I heard their, you know, rollerblade industry is going away from giving us tools. So I'm gonna hold on to that for sure. But these are aluminum UFS Seba free ride frame. I have never seen these in person. Um, they definitely come in some hard plastic. Sorry for the noise. I've never seen these in person. They are the lightest frames I have ever felt. They're like, when I take my symmetrics and I take off all the plastic, they're maybe lighter than that. Dang. These are those type of just straight through axles where you just on one side tighten it and then it self tightens on the inside. They are four by 84. They are 250 something, 56 centimeter wheelbase, 255. I was so close. 255, that's really good for somebody with TBI to have a memory like that. 255 millimeter wheelbase. They come in multiple sizes. So there is a 273 four by 90. <laughs> it is a smart design on the box. No lie. Thank you for that. That goes out to Rob Skate Academy. Do check them out on AG. Rob Skate Academy. They built my mini and we came together with that idea to have the deck. So I got the trampoline, soon to be a picnic table and bench. But um, yo, seriously, heck a bat wing. And you know, like um, Kaiser has like a bat frame. They have like a four by 90. Yeah, I think they have a four by 90 bat frame. But yeah, this is looks like a bat wing. Like you just like once again, more more weapons for the zombie apocalypse. So as you can see, blading on the brain is going all in on big wheeling, urban skating, trying to find a way to like help with my knees so that I don't feel so old trying to aggressive skate every day. I could take this off now. Shout out to Protect for making a comfortable helmet. But yeah, like I don't have to trip. Like I don't have to worry about having to aggressive skate every day. Now my inline skating is broader uh, because inline skating has gotten broader and we've all accepted the fact that big wheels are okay. It is cool to big wheel and urban skate. I remember when I had power blades. I'm like, shoot, I got them right here. For those who don't have like a stocked closet, I'm sorry, cause like I be having relics. Remember these? These came with the Richie Eislers. These are a 72 power blade frame. And I legit, I could do grinds in these, no questions asked with 72 wheels in them. But it just wasn't cool. Like people didn't like it. It was ostracized and it was talked bad about, but these days are changing. It's all different now, you know? We're able to accept all the forms of rolling because rolling is fun and we love it. So whether I'm on these, cruising the city, jumping stairs and bashing stairs and Trying to do weird wall rides and swivels and slides with my helmet on. Thank you. You'll see me in these. You'll probably see me in these. You'll see me in my adapts soon with some 50-50 frames on them. Going back to going, going back, back to plastic, plastic, right? Going back to plastic. This is a great day. This is legit a Christmas day. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this. Do expect a full review of the Imperial Power Slide Skates and the Compass Wheels. Um, do expect a review to come of these amazing 50-50 frames. Maybe I will actually learn how to set slide. 
See that? You see that wall piece? Everyone who knows these? Maybe finally, I'll be able to set slide like, like, like I knew how. Which I don't. I do it occasionally, but it's not like I know what I'm doing. So maybe these right here will help me set slide. I got the dope 5050 aluminum grind plates. These are going to be out for mini ramp sessions. So you will hear the beautiful ASMR that comes with aluminum grind plates. Wow. Blading on the Brain family, thank you so much for joining me on this live event. Um, if you have some questions, now's the time. You could throw them up in the chat. I do know that this left foot fits, so that is impressive because the left foot's my bigger foot. Um, I, it, will, it will remain to be seen if they both will fit. I heard these are heat moldable liners, so that's pretty sick. I got the heat gun right there. I've heat molded my carbons for years. So maybe with the heat moldable liners and a different uh, footbed, if you don't know the benefits of an amazing footbed, please try yourself a dope footbed. If you feel like spending the money, go to Adapt's website, get the My Soul Aggressive footbed. Amazing. I skated without it and legitimately had like two days of pain in my feet from not having it because I'm so soft now. I got so used to good stuff. Just me problems now. It's just me problems. Let me see what's going on in these comments. Will. Thank you for joining. Brendan, also, thank you for joining. I did have a great time with you all. I really do appreciate that. The Stefan frames are fire. Hell yeah, you see that colorway? It's like a charcoal gray too. It's like that Heather that you want in the t-shirt, you know, but not that light Heather, that's weird. I think I'm wearing that light Heather underneath. Yeah, it's not, oh, that's white, Never mind. What am I talking about? Where am I at? Um, yeah, quality, like, First impressions, these are quality frames, super quality frames. Anything changing, everything's changing nowadays. Yo, Jesse, like legit, the dudes who built my ramp are skateboarders. One of the dudes came through to help reset the coping because it was a little, a little wonky. And I, I ended up giving him a pair of frames that I had sitting around, a pair of youth frames, because he had just got some Gen 6, like Genesis 6, like old old school razors and he was like i want to start skating again so i got these razors he's like i also bought a pair of aeons and he was like i was like dude this is like a new world where like a skateboarder can come to a rollerbladers house be chill with rollerbladers build a ramp and like we can just chop it up and at the end he's like well i've been trying to skate too because it looks fun so as ricardo says we do it because it's fun let's always remind ourselves that no matter how someone has fun it's not for us to judge your fun Go have your fun. If it's on quads, I love it. If you need to dance and do like the cool splits moves, please do that. My grandfather did that. That's like ingrained in my blood. I love that stuff. But like, just roll, just have fun, experience it, whether it be aggressive flat or, y'all ain't ready for these though. Or it's aggressive, any rocker with the OG crayons. Yes, the OG crayons or you're big wheeling around town like Nicholas Swanson and Nick Lomax. Just two Nicks came off the top of my head. Or Bill Stoppard. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I post weekly here on YouTube. Wonderful stories about my journey back from a traumatic brain injury that I suffered while skating. Do subscribe. Do hit me up in the comments. Do follow your boy on IG because I just love getting social, especially in this time of quarantine. Where I'm literally stuck in the house. I haven't been able to skate with my JSF homies in a year. Um, and so all the support is necessary for all of us as we struggle through these times of lockdown, not lockdown, re-lockdown. It's just crazy out there. So as always, upgrade your gray matter because one day it may matter. And when it does, it's too late. Skate safe so you can skate forever. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful adventure. Thank you to Lawrence for hooking me up with two new ways to enjoy inline skating, and peace, love, blessings, all those things to you guys. Catch you later, Blading on the Brain fam.